He started his business not having a formal education, not having real capital. So we're talking about an African-American man in the South building a successful architecture business um, and becoming a millionaire in the process. Richard is an anomaly. He's a white producer of race films. There are many great anthologies, both on film and also in books, about race film. Richard has not mentioned any of them. I'll leave you to figure out why. Florida Avenue was the main street through the neighborhood he stayed in. That street is now known as A. Philip Randolph Boulevard. In the east side, there is a park uh, named after him, the A. Philip Randolph Historical Park. And then in addition, I believe there's a school um, up on the west side that's named after him as well. You're forcing the existing population out of a community. And it's lost the luster, the, the character, and that's my view of it, that the city did not help revive that neighborhood in the way I think they could have. That's what was lost, a community, a neighborhood, knowing each other, not wanting we would see each other anymore in Brooklyn.